Hello citizens and welcome back. In today's video I would like to talk about CitizenCon and what its outcomes mean for Star Citizen as a whole. As always, if you like this video, sacrifice a like and a comment to the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more. And here is a shout out to our amazing patrons for their support of the channel and the armory. First of all, why is this year's CitizenCon so important? Well, it is the first CitizenCon in 3 years to happen live and in person which is a big deal because the community can finally come together in one place at one time. Which I feel like might have been missing over the last few years even with many Bar Citizen events in the meantime. But the second reason is much more significant. There is a lot of doubt about the future of Star Citizen within the community and the wider gaming sphere. In the last 3 years we have seen delays, features being moved or cancelled and many resources being moved to Squadron 42 with no results to show for it. That is, excluding what is written in the Squadron 42 monthly reports. Now, this is not to say that nothing has been happening in the PU. There were many new ships, locations, quality of life updates and persistent entity streaming has been a major game changer for Star Citizen. Not to mention that as of patch 3.20, master modes are available for testing in Arena Commander. But this is only as a part of experimental game modes which rotate on a schedule so check spectrum before you dive in. But despite this, major progress has been slow. The last CitizenCon before the lockdown gave us a taste of pyro, followed by last year's event that showed off something that looked nearly ready. But it still seems like we're nowhere near the release of Pyro or Squadron 42 and this is the main source of doubt players and onlookers have about Star Citizen. So what can CAG do about this? Well, at the very least maintain the very grounded scale of the event that we saw last year. I think this less grand demonstration kept the expectations of the backers pretty reasonable. If nothing else, maintaining low expectations for the next year is the least damaging course of action. But this begs the question, why have a 2 day event if all they are going to show us is Pyro again and say it will come next year? Which brings me to how CAG could erase most doubts about the future of the project and justify their staffing decisions and resource allocations. There are two big announcements that many backers expect at this year's CitizenCon. One, a definitive release date for Pyro and server meshing and two, a definitive release date for the first chapter of Squadron 42. Either of these two announcements would likely be the key to an extremely successful event and it actually looks like that's where CAG are heading. Now, the better question is, how realistic are these expectations? Well, I think that most longtime backers are very skeptical about either but we can look at the facts. We know that persistent entity streaming was a major step towards the implementation of server meshing and we also know that there's a lot of work happening on assets for Pyro. So we know that the base tech is in place and we know that the content is probably almost ready. So the main deciding factor on whether we will see Pyro soon is whether CAG make any progress with the actual server meshing. So I think we can expect an update on this and some further showcases. But I don't think we will get any timeline besides soon. As for Squadron 42, it's hard to say. It has been in the works for years and over the years we have seen major resource reallocation towards the project at the expense of the persistent universe. We have also seen some quite interesting showcases last year at CitizenCon and according to the monthly report for Squadron 42 there has been major progress on all fronts. But I don't think this necessarily amounts to a product that's ready to be released. I think we can expect more showcases and possibly another long vertical slice of gameplay as we had a few years ago. We might get some indications of a release date but I wouldn't count on any hard dates or promises. So what else can we expect? Well, given the things I mentioned previously it looks like the event might be pretty lightweight in terms of major announcements. So I think CAG will bet heavily on the fact that the event is live and in person again after a few years. There will definitely be major ship sales and I think we can also expect new concepts and new straight to flyable ships to be released. Overall I think we can expect a great event but largely absent of anything groundbreaking. Which is not a bad thing. Personally I enjoyed the more grounded version of CitizenCon. And finally the most important question. Are you going to see me at CitizenCon? Unfortunately not this year. However, my organization Atlas Defense Industries will have a booth there and as far as I know we will be bringing some cool stuff and many of our talented staff and content creators will be there as well. 
so definitely stop by if you're going there and if you want to follow the preparations, consider joining. And with that being said, that's all for tonight. What do you think? Is this year's CitizenCon going to be big? Will there be major announcements? Let me know in the comments, thank you for watching, fly safe and I will see you in the verse.